Hey YouTube, thanks for visiting. So in this session, we are going to discuss the Jacobi's condition for the existence of extrema. Okay. In the last section or in the last session of uh, calculus of variation, we discuss the Legendre condition and Wastras condition. Wastras condition for the extremal. And uh, I already said about the Jacobi's equation, but uh, we are skipping this Jacobi's condition in detail uh, discussion. Okay, so in this session or this session is basically dedicated on Jacobi's condition. And uh, one more thing is that the based on Jacobi's condition uh, questions also comes in the session net exam. Okay, and in this session we are going to discuss uh, one questions from Jacobi's condition which comes in CSR net 2015. Okay, I think uh, the explanation of this condition uh, through Jacobi's condition is the best way of explanation because uh, I also search uh, in the YouTube so I, I, I don't find such a explanation like Jacobi's condition and this question that is the relation between this condition and Jacobi's condition. So we are going to discuss in detail the Jacobi's condition. Okay, so let's start and before starting uh, I am requesting you to all those who are new in the channel. So please like, comment, share and subscribe the channel obviously. And one more thing is that only uh, what 14% of my viewers are subscribed the channel. Uh, remaining 86% who are watching the channel uh, do not subscribe the channel. So please I am requesting you to all these 86% of the uh, viewers. So please subscribe the channel uh, to grow the channel. Okay. So let's start the uh, Jacobi's condition. Okay. So just a second. These are the previous content and one more thing is that you can join my telegram channel after completing the calculus of variation i will provide this class notes or these notes in my telegram channel the telegram channel name is the learning field you all know that i think and the description of the telegram channel in, uh, in the uh, obviously niche milega aap logo theek hai matlab is video ka description mein theek hai so let's start the jacobis condition just a second yeah so this is the jacobi's condition for extrema okay so uh, we already uh, discussed about this just equation i already said about this equation only but i am not going to or uh, I, I i i do not or i did not uh, discuss this jacobi's extremal properly okay so let's start so it says that let v y is equal to integration x0 to x1 f of x y y does dx be an extremal uh, jacobi's equation is given by f y y minus d d x of f y y dash into u minus d d x of f y dash y dash into u dash this is equal to 0 and this u is known as the what the pencil curve you can say so if the solution of this equation u, u vanish at the uh, i think at the pencil of the curve okay when at x equal to x0 and does not vanish for any other point on the interval x0 less equal to x less equal to x1 then we say that the extremal satisfies the jacobi's condition and one more thing is also that this is the very important line jacobi's condition is the necessary condition for the extremum okay so it says that that means what is the jacobi's condition so jacobi's condition it uh, mainly says that the solution of this equation in terms of u we will get an f uh, we can also calculate the f y y term f y y dash term and f y dash y dash term okay from this given extremal and put in this uh, equation form and then calculate uh, we find the differential equation or uh, we find or uh, we find the solution of this equation u in terms of u okay and if this u vanish at the pencil that is when at x equal to x zero and does not vanish at any other point that means this u uh, this u uh, what this function u or this solution u vanish if only at this point that is this point at x equal to x zero that is the center point of the extremal or uh, you can say the field of extremal and not vanish in any point in this interval x zero less equal to x less equal to x one does not it does not vanish any other point in this interval then we see that the extremal satisfies the jacobi's condition and which is the 
necessary condition for existence of the extremum for the extremal okay okay so let's uh, see one example first uh, whether the jacobi's condition satisfies or not okay and then we uh, discuss the csn8 problem okay so it says that the suppose this is the extremal v y is equal to integration 0 to a y dash square plus y square plus x square dx passes through a 0 0 and b a 0 check whether the jacobi's condition is satisfies or not okay so here f is equal to what y dash square plus y square plus x square okay now we find the derivative terms f uh, y dash y dash this is equal to clearly 2 f uh, y dash this is equal to what 2 y dash and f of y y dash this is equal to derivative of this term which is equal to 0 in terms of y and uh, also we need to calculate the f y y term okay so f y y term so which is equal to simply uh, 2y and 2 so this is 2 now if we, we put these values in the equation jacobi's equation okay jacobi's equation we now determine the jacobi's equation what is the equation f y y minus d d x of f y y dash f y y means here 2 minus d d x of this term which is 0 into u okay and uh, minus d d x of f y dash y dash into u dash minus d d x of f y dash y dash means what f y dash y dash means 2 here and u dash so this implies uh, minus 2 u minus 2 u double dash which is equal to 0 i think um, we should write wrong sorry this is 2 u simply and 2 u dash this is equal to 0 that means u double dash minus u this is equal to 0 so if we find this solution of this equation then we find the pencil of the curve so this is simply we can write um, u is equal to a exponential x plus b exponential minus x okay and we can write this function as an hyperbolic function okay so if we write this is equal to just a second a we can write the new constant as the hyperbolic function so c1 and c2 so a sin hyperbolic x plus b cos hyperbolic x now if we apply these conditions a 0 0 equal to 0 then we get b is equal to 0 and we get here u is equal to a sin hyperbolic x so this is the pencil curve you can say and if we put this point and <coughs> if a equal to 0 then we find the solution x equal to k pi and at the point x equal to k pi this gives the only zero solution okay so this is the case now this uh, pencil of the curve so this is called we call this is the pencil curve okay now if a sin uh, u is equal to a sin hyperbolic x this satisfies x axis where only at x axis okay only x axis at x equal to zero so this pencil curve satisfies or uh, intersect the x axis uh, only at x equal to 0 ok that means and uh, there is no point at which this pencil curve a u equal to a sin hyperbolic x satisfies the x axis ok because sin hyperbolic 0 equal to 0 and there is no other point at which uh, at the value of x for which a hyper hyperbolic x equal to 0 ok so this is the case when the pencil curve a uh, vanish that means this is the case the pencil curve vanish only at this point that means the jacobi's condition is satisfied okay so this is the uh, example you can say or yeah this is the example okay now if we go to the csr net problem which comes in csr net 2015 i think this problem is understandable if you cannot understand then you can then you can comment in the comment section below okay now uh, the extremal of the functional integration 0 to a y dash square minus y square that passes through the point 0 0 and 0 this is the similar type of problem quick minimum a if strong minimum so there is a condition so this is the main thing we choose this problem and we need to know the jacobi's condition jacobi's condition to solve this problem properly okay otherwise you can't solve this problem there is no other concept you can apply in this problem to solve the problem okay so you need to know the jacobi's condition okay to solve this condition to solve this problem okay 
so given f is equal to what this one uh, y dash square minus y square and here you can say now we find first the Jacobi's equation okay so f y dash y dash equal to minus 2 f y y dash equal to 0 and f y dash y dash equal to 2 so the Jacobi's in the equation is given by this one is the Jacobi's equation f y y minus d d x of f y y dash into u minus d d x of f y dash y dash into u dash this is equal to 0 now we put these values uh, to calculate the Jacobi equation so if we put then Jacobi equation comes u double dash plus u is equal to 0 now the general solution of this equation is u is equal to c1 sin x plus c2 cos x applying u0 equal to 0 from what so c passes through 0 0 and a0 that means at x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and at x equal to a u is equal to this one okay so u x y that is uh, here the, this is the pencil curve so at x equal to 0 u equal to 0 here so u0 equal to 0 we apply then we clearly get c2 equal to 0 and we get u equal to c1 sin x okay now c1 sin x now you can apply the second condition which is u a uh, sorry u a which is equal to 0 now if we apply u a equal to 0 in this condition so we get what 0 equal to c1 sin a uh, yeah so c1 sin a that means if c1 equal to 0 then we get trivial solution and since this is equal to 0 that means if we take sin a is equal to 0 that means a is equal to k pi is the solution okay so it says that this function u vanish at x equal to k pi where k belongs to integer so this is the case which we already apply in the previous problem also okay in this problem also we apply this thing so that means uh, now if a uh, 0 less equal to a less equal to pi okay because here it is given that the uh, integral uh, kya hai? integration 0 to a okay okay and the uh, center point is 0, 0. That is, if we find that the extremal or the pencil curve vanish at only at 0, then we say that Jacobi's condition is satisfied and in any point uh, lies in the interval 0 less equal to uh, x, suppose less equal to a, the uh, what the u function does not vanish. Then we say that the u function vanish only at this point, then we say that the Jacobi's condition is satisfied. Okay. So now let us check. So, if 0 less than a less than pi, there exists only one point at x equal to 0. Okay. Suppose you are equal to 0. Okay. Uh, in 0 less equal to x less equal to a at which u vanish and Jacobi condition is satisfied. Okay. That means we get the extremal pencil curve is if u equal to c1 sin x, sin x simply. Okay. So, at x equal to 0, u equal to 0 and next when u equal to 0 u equal to 0 when what we get x equal to pi okay that means we get one more point at pi at which this pencil curve vanish but if this occurs then the jacobi condition does not satisfy or the jacobi condition does not holds that's why we skip this point x equal to pi okay so x equal to pi that means uh yaha par kya hoga ye jo interval hoga 0 less equal to x less than pi okay so in this interval we get only one point which is zero at which the pencil curve that is u equal to c1 hyper sin x is vanish that is the jacobi condition is satisfied okay so that's why we choose e this interval zero less equal to x less equal to y or you can say it is a okay so in this interval only the jacobi condition satisfies therefore we and jacobi condition is the uh, a um, necessary condition for the extrema for the existence of extrema that's why we choose the interval 0 less equal to sorry a less equal to pi therefore ye jo do condition hoga yahan pe greater than pi to pi ka case kabhi bhi nahi aayega theek hai so we can discard these two options by using the jacobi's condition okay so now yeah it says that if a greater than equal to pi then there is at least one more point x equal to pi in the interval this at which you vanish and Jacobi condition does not hold. So, I already say this. Uh, so, this is the case. Okay. Now, if we apply what the Legendre condition here. So, if y dash y dash equal to and this is uh, regardless of y there that is if y dash y dash there is no y dash dependence. That means we can easily say that this extremal is ha uh, this extremal will have a strong minimum as well as weak minimum. Okay. Because the I see the uh, table which i already deviated uh, delivered in this content 
this one okay so for weak minimum to be attained if y dash y dash is greater than equal to 0 on c and for strong minimum but if y dash y dash greater than equal to 0 at, y, at all point close to c and also for arbitrary values of y dash but there is no uh, y dash dependence okay so that's why here we can easily say that there exist both the strong minima as well as the weak minima in the interval only a less equal to uh, a less than pi okay so a less than pi in the in this interval in a less equal to pi both the weak minimum and the strong minimum exist okay so i think this is the best explanation of this problem uh, which comes in session 2015 i think uh, whether this is june or december you can check once okay so this is the explanation for this concept so how was the explanation if the explanation is uh, helpful for you then please you like to this session and share with your friends obviously and obviously subscribe to the channel okay so thank you friends meet the next video thank you bye bye